Alright, here we are at the first dungeon. You want to go to this dungeon at night in order for a chance for the main boss with the flaming sword to spawn. Got some lore here at the beginning gate. Now this, I believe the name of the boss is Maltok. Now there'll be a lot of skeletons here at the start. You want to kill all of them first. I got end game uh, weapon on, so I'm just killing them in one shot. But once you have the tin outfit and weapons, you should be able to one shot these anyways. So these guys aren't really a problem. Now you'll come against this like giant thing of ice here. You want to take your mace out or hammer and beat the ice out. And it'll reveal a hidden room in here. Now in this hidden room, you can go up the side here. and you'll come into a room that already has a forge a um, crafting bench working cauldron and free storage chests if you choose to have them they're really big storage chests so very handy you also have more lore over here and somewhat of a map that shows the islands like this is the island we're on right now teeny tiny one which is probably why it's glowing now i think about it the second island is the big one here and then the third island is the final one but that's a handy little secret spot in this dungeon but what we want is the boss fight. But before we do the boss fight, you want to come over here and you get free bandages, potions, and you also get a little bit more lore too. But you want to go over here to this other little chasm of ice and whack the crap out of it. And after doing so, you reveal another hidden room and you want to step in and you see Maltok rise, guardians rise and all these guys will come at you you want to kill all these guys and the big ones here can give you some useful gear. Yeah. I got a free tin helmet here, stone hammers. So if you don't want to beat the boss yet, but you want free like tin outfit without having to do all the mining and crafting, you can just farm these guys over and over again and get it. But what we want, see it said Maltok rises. And there he is. This is the guy we want. This is this big dude with a giant flaming sword. He doesn't seem to want to leave his cavern. Hmm. Why will he not leave? Oh, he's coming now. Yeah. You want to lead him out. Get rid of his little guard there. And you want to you want to consistently go around him in a circle, which is why you kind of want to lead him out this way. Though he is really fast, so beware of that. But you want to bring him into this opening here. That way you can freely run around him. 
or in this case he runs around here. And let him swing at nothing. Let him swing, let him miss. And he's dead. Now off him, get some really good gear. Unfortunately, we didn't get his sword. His sword is a chance. And it's a flaming sword you get at the beginning, which is extremely handy. You get a bunch of elixir power. You get some free studded leather, sometimes tin. And this is extremely good. A green emerald uh, crystal skull. Now what this does is if you have it in your shield slot down here, it'll increase your stamina region dramatically. So it is extremely, extremely good. Kind of sad we didn't get a sword though, but Meh, yeah, I already got it. <laughs> That's pretty much what it looks like. It's just a big old flame of the sword. That'll get rid of the cold off of you. Though oddly, like when you look at it, you expect it to be a two-hand sword, not a one-hand. But it is a one-handed sword. And that's it that's in this uh, dungeon. Dungeon is now complete. Maltok is dead.